mean, it came, it's retesting like this, this like uh, January low here. And it looks like it, mo it mostly held here right around like 18 cents. Let me see if I can get rid of some of this other stuff off here. But uh, it seems like you could, this can be owned right here with a tight stop. And it's probably got, uh, you know, it's probably sets up for a nice uh, risk reward trade. If, as long as you keep your stop at like 17 cents. Um, so that's something I'm looking at. I also want to, well, I have a screen share going on. I wanted to share this article in Forbes. You know, came out yesterday morning. Forbes is a reasonably uh, well-respected magazine, so. You drop that link in the chat, John. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop this link in the chat for sure. Uh, why the crypto bills will be proven right. Um, you know, this doesn't, this doesn't say anything that we don't already talk about all the time, so nothing really hard hitting in here, but it's a ma major media outlet that's, that's, that's telling our story the way we tell it, which I like. Uh, so I'll drop that chart. Anyone, good morning there, uh, T1000, how are you? Oh, am I still down? Oh, no, I'm not T1000 still. <laughs> uh, for, for those of you that are uh, you know, tuning in, we're, we're trying to use some pseudonyms to protect our identity on these calls. So that's why we all have these uh, pseudonyms. Oh, well, hold on, let me change my name then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll blur that out. Uh, so uh, Blake, anything anything positive happening in your in your neck of the woods in crypto? I mean, I I saw a pump on uh, Tradov again, another pump that's like held for like a day, up eight hundred percent. But like that's hardly something worth like uh, building a business around. So anything uh, fundamentally positive or negative happening in anyone's universe? Um, I mean, from the stuff that we're looking at um, in, in that um, you know smart security space, um, th there were a couple. Uh, couple interesting announcements um most notably um fidelity uh will be launching uh their um institutionally uh focused service in march i believe um and they're just a behemoth um they were i mean they're expected to get a lot of market penetration through this uh land grab space uh phase so um that, that, that's an interesting development um, are there any more details about what they're what uh, the offering is or, or how they're rolling it out yeah i believe it's a um it, it's initially a custodian uh service mm -hmm. um but I, I think that is going to tie into um broker dealer um uh or using um uh using broker dealers as a source of liquidity for um you know more of a marketplace type exchange for um you know the anticipated illiquidity of some of these tokens. Um, I think they're, yeah. they're one of the ones that are, you know, well positioned to become this kind of diversified financial services company in uh, specifically in that smart security space. Um, and, and there's a couple of smaller uh, competitors that are positioning some themselves like that. But um, I mean, Fidelity is, uh, you know, large. You know, speaking of liquidity and adoption, um, you know, one thing we haven't talked about yet, guys, we haven't talked about Binance now, um, latching on to the credit card sort of methodology that Coinbase had for a while. Um, and then we also, I don't know if you guys saw it too, um, speaking of exchanges, um, the Winklevoss has passed a pretty big security test threshold as well. So we might not have seen a lot of market activity and that spikes in trading or volume, but there's a lot of sort of like pieces being moved on the board is what I'm saying. And one more thing I forgot to mention for you guys, just from like a general geopolitical update. Um, there is talk about Mohammed, um, what's his name, El Aran there, um, taking over the, the World Bank. And he, he's a Bitcoin optimist. So um, I'm gonna send this in the chat. You gotta take a look at this. Um, this is from today. It says like- Share the screen two, if you can share the screen. Sure. Dr. Um, I, that reminds me, I wanted to share a screen too, and uh, Wall Street guy, not Mohammed Al Arian, who is like uh, Bill Gross's number two, or Bill, uh, Bill, yeah, Bill Gross's number two over at PIMCO, but their arch nemesis, uh, Jeff Gunlock. Jeff Gunlock uh, runs Double Line. Double Line took a lot of the uh, fixed income like authority away from PIMCO in the last couple of years, and. Jeff Gunlock's on record saying that he could he could see Bitcoin going to 5,000 uh, by the end of 2019, and which is a 45% move from here. And he, he said, when speaking about Bitcoin, talk about an easy 25%. So hey, I saw Substratum's 
you know, after reaching to the, to a pr pretty low price, this is now kind of like finding a bottom. Have you talked to your friends over at Substratum at all recently? No, they've gotten some pretty bad flack from everything they're doing. They had an investor wanted to give them like a million dollars to do a decentralized exchange. So they did another ICO and everyone uh, is pretty much losing their minds and they think they're going to like scam everybody. So that, that was like the, the last development I've heard about it. Is this all, is this all a spinoff of like the fact that they had like that ability to like uh, create more substratum in the code that people took issue with? Um, that was a totally separate thing. But yeah, it didn't, it didn't help. It was added to the fire of everything. And the um, paying a McAfee for the endorsement. Like, it seems like they've been mismanaged out the ass. Yeah, they for sure have. No doubt about it. Um, are, you are you investing in Substratum these days? No, I'm not. No, I'm not touching any alts. Um, not anything under 30 million I'm not even looking at in terms of market cap. The only thing that I was really looking at this week was the, um, the BitTorrent token that came out. They sold out their ICO in under seven minutes. And then when it launched on Binance, it had a, has, currently has a market cap of about 480 million. So um, it's way, I mean, it, it's way overvalued at this point. So I expect to see some huge red candlesticks coming from Binance probably in the next week or two. Um, but otherwise, that's, that's really the only thing I've seen that has a ton of hype. Um, and I saw some people posting on Twitter about it that their friends were dumping their entire portfolios into it at an ICO. So it seems like there's a lot of desperation in the market right now. Guys, this is Unicorn Gold. It pulled back quite a bit more from what we talked about it last week. You know, we still want an idea for like getting ready for the Super Bowl and like having some, uh, here's a seven day. Here's last week. It's down uh, a bit. 7% today, but market cap on Unicorn Gold is down to $4 million. You know, how much, how many mentions by Cuban does it take to make this thing go up to $8 million? One? Yeah. But I mean, he's, he's been quite kind of silent on it. I don't, you know, like he might've just signed on early. And been like, eh. I mean, he, he might make a mention of it. Um, can I do a quick screen share? Okay. So this is a screenshot I took from T zero's presentation in terms of the areas in which they believe will the, will be uh, securitized um, all, all of what, you know, makes the world tick. And in each category, these are the companies that they have already invested in. And this is um, Medici Ventures, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of Overstock.com. So this is Medici Ventures portfolio. Oh, cool, buddy. I love this graphic. Thanks for sharing. Hey, John, before you finish up, I want to just show one more thing. I know we only have like three minutes left. Do you mind if I share my screen, Jason? Yeah, please. Yeah, please hey, do. Go ahead, go ahead. I just want to end with some bullish sentiment. Um, I know this was pretty bullish, but uh, um, I, gotta, I can't share until you stop sharing. Oh, oh. There you go. Cool. So nothing, nothing. Um, I think it's something a little surprising, but maybe not. But uh, I think it's good news for, for um, everything. You know, st unfortunately, everything's still being driven by Bitcoin right now, for better or for worse. But the good news is, you can move this to the side. This is a number of transactions per day of Bitcoin, and uh, ever since the fall, uh, the good news has been like this, this pat, this trend after this uh, shock hasn't really ended. Um, so I think that's really a good sign. You know, I think that the capitulation really has, has is finishing up and that this is a really good news for all coins and for um, coin, the coin, uh, the cryptocurrency market in, in general. So things are looking really good. This, this, I've been watching this trend for a few months and I've been happy to note that it keeps on going, going up. All right. Sounds good. Thanks very much, everyone. See ya. Take care.